let's go ahead and move into this talk about the spring season. I, it's not just me. Um, they are not going to play spring football. We talked about this yesterday. Do they think this thing's magic? Do they think once that calendar year changes to 2021, this is all going to go away? That I mean, I would have to imagine. Like I, this I think is why know. I, I fought so hard on problem solving and troubleshooting this thing. Yes, last year, last night, yesterday, is because this isn't going away anytime soon, and it might not ever go away. So we must learn to live with it. Yes. Okay. Those who fight masks must learn to live with them because there's a good possibility it is the way you're going to live for a long period of time. All right. Yeah. We we cannot just hunker in a bunker for the rest of eternity. We have to find a way to live with this virus in our life, in our ecosystem. And it's going to evolve and change. And we are going to evolve and change. Our immune system is. And and we don't know what it's going to look like when that happens. But we must learn to live with it. We must learn to find ways to function in society in spite of it, and not run and hide from it. Well, and on, on top of that, Pete Thamel put a tweet out this morning and said that the Big Ten, before the Big Ten even had their meeting to actually officially cancel the season, he said that they were just then having their first conversation about the spring. But this, is, a, my, this is my problem yesterday. These people don't do anything. They, they walk into a room and, and someone tells them what's going on, and they say, yeah, we can't do that. Or no, we can't. There is no problem solving with them. They don't know how to do it, which is crazy because most of these people are, I'm sure, come from some type of background in the scientific world or the mathematical world. I have to believe that some of them understand as variables change, we have to adapt. And and you just have to look at this thing from so many parameters. They went from we're playing, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing, we're, playing, we're not playing. And we haven't thought anything else. I mean, has anybody said, can we get rid of the big boys? Because those are the guys that most at risk based on the information we have. And we turn this into seven on seven for one year. And our offensive linemen and our big defensive linemen can can still maintain scholarships. They can be with their teams and support them, but they can't be on the field touching one another. They can't, like, have anybody even thought about that? Has anybody even tried to come up with alternative ideas as to how we can handle this for a little bit? And the answer is no. No, no chance. They're just now thinking about how a spring season is going to work. Guess what? It ain't. It ain't going to work in the spring. No, because you cannot have players play that many games in a, and even if they did it in just like a a six-game season. Right. I don't see. I don't think it's, the amount of games in that calendar year matters at all. I think that's wrong, and I think they can do it. The problem is, is if the risk, if the juice ain't worth the squeeze today, it's not going to be worth the squeeze tomorrow. Okay, no, it's, it's, it, and yeah, it damn right. sure ain't going to be worth the squeeze when the revenue is maybe cut in half, maybe cut in a fra- I mean, you could be getting an eighth of what you would have gotten had you played this year. So no, but why would they risk it then? Just cancel the whole thing put it all off and try to make it work in the fall and maybe learn from the errors of your ways this time. Yeah. That's I'm with you. I'm with you. I agree. But if Um, you're an elite level athlete and if you're, you, you've got consideration to go to the NFL and you're maybe a third, fourth round kind of guy right now. I mean, Joe Burrow would have been a, a fifth or sixth round quarterback or an undrafted free agent. Yeah. If he didn't have last year. No, you're 100 percent right. What What do you think a season can do? Well, let me point you to Joseph Burrow. Oh, 100 okay? percent. You it can are dead change on. Change your life for eternity. It can change your grandchildren's lives for eternity. Now, I will say, let me go on and jump in with this. Uh, Ross Dellinger it tweeted this out. Barry Alvarez suggested that that schools are going to continue uh, continue a 20 hour week for the football players. Now. This just seems absurd to me. Uh, He said it will be a modified 20-hour week per the football oversight source. Uh, It will not be a preseason practice model, but will instead be more like enhanced training of July. They'll be doing walkthroughs, film, etc. This was the enhanced training model that the NCAA implemented as part of its six-week program, 
said players would be allowed 20 hours a week for football, eight hours a week for weight training and film, one hour a day of walkthrough, one hour a day of meetings, two days off a week. Do you really think that they are going to implement this at every Big Ten school if they are not having a season? Do you think those players are going to go through all that if they are not having a season? That is. Well, I'll tell you this. If I, yeah, I, I actually do. I actually do. That makes me happy, by the way. Well, I'm glad that they're doing it. That makes me happy that they're going to continue to work with these kids. They're going to give them a home. They're going to give them a surrounding. They're going to continue to be able to be around their family. Because football is a family. Oh, it absolutely is. is. That is as close-knit group of people you're ever going to find. Now, I'm wondering, like, if you're still going to go through that, that's definitely a step in the right direction. Right now, that's only no, you have, that's, that's only the big that's ten. Bear, if you're going to cancel the season on these guys, that at least addresses some of our problems from yesterday. Yes, no, it absolutely does. Now the Pac-12 has not said that. Um, I just find it I don't, hard I don't, to believe this isn't a Big Ten thing. It's a Barry Alvarez thing. It's a Wisconsin thing. Well, he, I think he was saying that the Big Ten is going to do this. Um, he said schools that aren't playing a season will continue. Yeah, he's talking about the Big Ten. So okay. he's yeah. talking about all of them then. Yeah, he's talking about all of them. So, no, I'm okay with that. So I'm we'll, all right we'll with see that. it. We'll see it. Um, let's go ahead and move into 